This is who? Catherine. Catherine, how you doing? Robert Pisano. Listen, I, I got a question for you guys. Um, the ISS HD viewing experiment, they're not showing live feeds anymore. Is there, is there a problem? No, the, the live feeds are still available. The live feeds are still available. Well, when we go to YouTube, they don't show the live feeds anymore. Well, the, they are on Ustream and on the HDEV page. Well, I've been looking at Ustream all morning, and the page has been black. It's been black all morning. Just a second. Let me pull them up. I mean, there's nothing showing at all. I mean, are they continuing the live feeds, or are these recordings? No, they're live feeds. All right, because I mean, I, I mean, it was maybe it was just a scuttlebutt rumor, but that uh, NASA was they put out a media release to stop the live feeds from ISS. No, that media release was specific to Space Station Live, which is a thirty-minute program every day. Oh, space! Oh. Oh, that okay. Space Station Live airs at 11 a.m. Eastern Time for 30 minutes every day. So the media release was only about that show, not about the live stream from the station. Okay, so you just stopped the the 30 minute live shows. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, why why did they stop the 30 minute live shows on ISS? Uh, they're changing the format. Of of those shows. And those shows were just interviews with subject matter experts. They were not live feeds from the station at all. Well, let me ask you this. Is there any, I mean, do you guys do internal ISS footage of, you know, just the, the cameras just rolling while they're inside doing their thing, you know, doing their experiments and taking photos and stuff? Not usually. And the, and the live stream is is I mean I pulled it up right now on my computer and I can see the live stream. Well, yeah, I'm looking at it too, and it's saying the high definition Earth viewing experiment is either switching cameras or we're experiencing a temporary loss of signal. Yeah, it just um, changed to the live feed. It just changed the live feed. So you know, I saw that screen a second ago, and now it's a live feed of one of the cam from one of the cameras. Okay, quick quick question, and I've I've always been curious because I I send emails asking questions and they never get answered. And the excuse I get is, oh, we're really busy. We may or may not get to it, but, you know, it takes time. Now, you to? well, I sent it to the email address on on you guys' website. Well, we have lots to, of to, address, to, so to, uh, in the public affairs office. So we handle calls from reporters. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure which group you're, you're contacting. Now, I mean, how, how many cameras are, are they? I mean, these are all cameras on board or outside? They're outside. There's four of them. So there's four cameras on outside. Why why won't they just run all four cameras simultaneously and, you know, just keep switching from each camera and just rotating through them so you can get a 24 hour? That's exactly what they do. That's exactly what they do. Wait, so they, but, okay, but when, when I just saw the screen that they're switching cameras, all cameras are not working simultaneously. Yeah, so when they switch, when it automatically switches between cameras, sometimes there's a short loss of signal. There's a, a short loss of signal. How, how is that happening? So the cam cameras are actually part of an experiment on the International Space Station. Okay. For high definition Earth viewing to understand how uh, radiation and microgravity affects the equipment. Okay. So you got four. It's expected that over time, as radiation affects them, that the camera quality will degrade. Okay. And so that's part of what we're studying. Okay. So the the orientation of these cameras, because I got a, a a model, the schematic model pop, pulled up from you guys' website of the ISS. Where 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 is the the position of each one of these these four cameras? I mean, do you have cameras pointed? I have to get back to you on that. I don't know where exactly each one is located. Okay, so roughly, I mean, where do you think they're located? Can you remind me which outlet you're with? No, I'm not in with any media outlet. I'm a taxpaying citizen. You the, the media office. No, I understand I reached the media office. And I've been sending emails for six months and no one responds. 
Now, I understand what you're saying that you guys monitor all this, but you get emails from all around the world. Six months is, you know, a little bit unacceptable when, you know, I pay my money to watch this. You know, I'm a graduate student. I'm interested in, in what you guys are doing as far as science and technology. And I can't get a straight answer. Someone telling me, okay, where are these cameras actually located as far as orientation is concerned? Well, you can find out. I can give you a web page where you can find out more about the experiment itself. Yeah, I've read that experiment. I read about that. It doesn't tell you where the cameras are located. That's why I'm calling. Because no one from NASA, everybody's so busy doing things, no one can answer a simple question. Where are the cameras located on the ISS? Outside. Well, I, I'm sorry I have not received any of your emails. Um, well, I, I, no, and I understand it. That's why I'm asking the question direct now. Is it, I mean... That I don't have that information, I would have to follow up on that. But you should yeah. actually direct your question to the public inquiries office. No, no, and I understand. I have addressed the public inquiries as well. And every time someone says, "Well, get me your information, I'll get back to you," no one ever calls back. I never even get an email. Have you emailed public inquiries? I emailed public inquiries. Yes. That's why I'm on the phone with you guys asking you this. I mean, it should be a simple. I'm not part of the public inquiries. Office. Okay, but it should be a simple question. I mean, this has been 15 years. No one can answer right off the fly. Could you tell me the orientation of where the cameras are located? Lots of information about this space station that I cannot answer off of the fly. I'm okay. sorry, sir. If you would like to call public inquiries or email public inquiries, they would be able to assist you. What's the phone number to public inquiries? It is just a second. Uh, so media gets different information from the regular paying public. Is that it? I handle media inquiry specifically. No. Okay. It, there's different offices that handle reporters specifically, and there's different folks that handle inquiries from media. Okay. What's the number for public inquiries? Just a second. It is 202-358-0000. Now, one last one last question. Four cameras, right? Is it is it possible that you guys would ever consider showing all four cameras maybe simultaneously in a, like a, a quad screen type of view? I don't think that we have the video feed to be able to do that at the same time. Really? The the experiment is set up. So you're saying that's not possible to do that? The way that the experiment is set up, it, it is set up to rotate between the cameras through one feed. Wow. You know, I, I can view 16 cameras at one time in 16 different countries. You going, going, going on to a website to look around the world and you I'm guys sorry, are... Sir, I, I have to uh, go to a meeting. Yeah, you guys always got to go. You always got to go to meetings every time you ask a direct question like this that you don't want to answer, that you can't answer, because it just doesn't sound right. Thank you. Well, I encourage you to contact Public Inquiry. I will. I definitely will. Thank right, you. Thank you. What a fucking crock of shit. What a crock of shit. Was that not a bullshit fucking excuse, she says? Well, oh, the Wi-Fi cameras in space. They don't have to be in fucking space. They want to blame everything on fucking radiation. These people are a fucking joke. Call the NASA Public Communications Office for media inquiries and requests. Please call the NASA Newsroom at 202-358-1600. That's 202-358-1600. For all other inquiries, please leave a brief message regarding the nature of your call and include your name, telephone number, and email address. Please repeat your email address for accuracy. For up-to-date NASA news, visit NASA's website at www.nasa.gov. That's www.nasa.gov. Your interest in NASA is greatly appreciated. Recording yeah. message at the time. They don't even have anybody answering the fucking phone. How about that shit? Unfucking believable.